The FBI reports thousands of minors were targeted across the country last year and became victims of sexual extortion or sextortion. That's the crime when they're coerced into sending explicit images of themselves, oftentimes to a stranger they've met online, and then extorted for money, usually under the threat that the photo or video will be released. State House reporter Mary Green explains what South Carolina is now doing to crack down on these crimes. A new law makes sexual extortion a felony here in South Carolina, and people convicted of it now face up to 20 years behind bars. We're taking a step that is going to save the lives of other children, other young people. Governor Henry McMaster held a bill signing ceremony to mark the new law on Friday in Rock Hill, home of the state lawmaker who made passing this legislation his purpose at the State House this year. It's known as Gavin's Law, in honor of Republican Representative Brandon Guffey's late son, Gavin. He took his life last summer at the age of 17, just hours after Guffey says he was sexually extorted. Months later, Guffey won his seat at the State House, where his colleagues rallied around him and the bill he filed in honor of Gavin this year, passing it unanimously in Guffey's first year as a representative. Some of them joined Guffey's family and friends Friday, many wearing Gavin's art signature on their clothing and the less than three heart symbol, the last message Gavin sent to his friends. I lose a child's hard. I think it's harder to know that your child chose to take their life and you were there. Um, but we have, whenever it comes to that, I would say, I don't want to say we had it easy. We've had a, so much community support and love that it made things easier, I guess is the best way of putting it. And as part of the awareness Guffey hopes this spreads, the new law also requires schools educate South Carolina students and their families about the changes this legislation makes, as well as the dangers of sexual extortion. Reporting Rock Hill, I'm Mary Green. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with thoughts of suicide, help is available. You can call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988 or go to 988lifeline.org to chat. It's free. Help is available 24-7.